free software generally does have a copyright, it does have an owner, and it has a license. It is not public domain. If we put the software in the public domain, somebody else would be able to make a little bit of changes and turn that into a proprietary software package, which means that the users would be running our software, but they wouldn't have freedom to cooperate and share. To prevent that, we use a technique called copyleft. The idea of copyleft is that it's copyright flipped over. And what we do is we say, this software is copyrighted, and we, the authors, give you permission to redistribute copies. So we give you permission to change it. We give you permission to add to it. But when you redistribute it, it has to be under these terms, no more and no less, so that whoever gets it from you also gets the freedom to cooperate with other people if he wants to. And then in this way, everywhere the software goes, the freedom goes too. And it becomes an inalienable right to cooperate with other people and form a community. Well, the license I use is the GNU General Public License. That's the one that Richard Stallman wrote. And I think it's a really astounding contribution. Uh, it's one of the few software licenses that was written from the standpoint of the community rather than from the standpoint of uh, protecting a company or uh, as is the case with the MIT and the BSD license, uh, performing the goals of a government grant program. Uh, and the GPL is really unique in that it's not just a license, it's a whole philosophy that I think motivated the open source definition. I don't hide that a lot of what I do came from Stallman.